impact. There we go. Oh, fresh. That was cool, <laughs> Told you that thing was going to rain. <laughs> that was awesome, man. What's going on, guys? This is Logan with West Desert Shooter. We are out here in the deserts of Utah today with a fellow U Utah company, OSS Suppressors, as well as Sword International. We have Darren and Randy. So why don't you guys run us through this rifle? And you guys have a combo of a really awesome rifle. This one's chambered in 338 Lapua Magnum, and it's also sporting the new 338 can from OSS Suppressors. So let's run over the features of the rifles real quick, and then we'll also talk about why this can is such a great pair with this rifle. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, once again, Darren Hall with Sword International. Uh, this is our Mark 18 338 Lapua. This is configured with a 20 inch proof research carbon barrel our self-regulating short stroke gas piston system it uses our proprietary heavy duty piston push rod system we have a 19 inch lightweight modular rail system full ambi controls throughout the lower receiver so your bolt catch bolt release is right here so you can maintain positive fire control at all time send the bolt home with your trigger finger or support side thumb same with locking it back we have a side non-reciprocating forward charging handle right here on the left hand side that walks into place shortened up throws so you can stay on target and still rack the gun if without coming off of your target set up with the new m7xi from steiner optics and coyote brown and of course with they're out here with oss uh, we've had a great relationship with these guys for a long time uh, demo in their new 338 tie can which works phenomenal on our system doesn't require any tuning of the the gas system and we don't see any increased bulk carrier velocity uh, running with the 338 Lapua. Why don't you run us through your guys' brand new 338 can that's been designed for an application just like this and what makes it such a great combo with a semi-auto platform like this? Yeah, I mean, that's that's good. Uh, really what this is is just basically a, a, a larger size of our existing can. So this is our HXQD 338 can. It is built off of the same kind of idea. It, it's just basically a little bit more volume in here, a little bit longer, and the layers are a little bit bigger to make 338 a little bit quieter. But what makes it different, if you're not familiar with OSS, we use a flow through technology in our suppressors. So because the gas is routing through multiple layers as it expands and then through the can, it doesn't affect the gun whatsoever. So there's no increase in back pressure. That means no increase in your bolt speeds. That means that you're not gonna have as much fouling or anything like that. What, and, and I guess that is why it works so well, especially with something as large as a semi-automatic 338 rifle. So what, what we run into often when I go to shows and stuff is sometimes people kind of typecast OSS into just gas guns only, but they don't think about our suppressors in terms of a precision tool, right? And a lot of people aren't aware this can was developed, not this can specifically, but the 7.62 can was developed alongside or in conjunction with the Army's SDMR and CSAS program. That is a sniper program, right? So the design itself was made to be very precise. There was a very strict uh, requirement on your point of aim and point of impact shift, as well as just your overall group size with and without the can on it. So we had to have precision built into the whole, the whole design of the QD system as well. And when we just scale that up to fit on 338, it's incredibly accurate. It works really well. So. Well, awesome guys, it sounds like a really great combo. That's why we brought it out here. We're gonna go out and shoot one mile with it, 1,780 yards. We actually got you to shoot a mile as well for the first time. Yeah. Uh, previously, what was your furthest distance you had shot? Uh, about a thousand yards. And, and I'm not someone who, I am not, you know, everybody in this industry has their own kind of thing. Uh, I don't know very many people that do all the kind of shooting that there is to do. My, my thing hasn't been much into the precision game, right? Um, so for someone as novice as myself to just kind of hop on a system, I mean, once you had it dialed in, I mean, we had to, we had to do a little bit of holdovers and the wind was kind of moving on us. Absolutely. But for someone like myself to just hop on this thing mm -hmm. and uh, after a few rounds to hit steel at a, at a mile, uh, it was phenomenal. I mean, I was pretty thrilled. <laughs> so. Yeah, and that speaks volumes to the accuracy and precision of this rifle, as well as your guys' can. And we never had a single cycling issue, even with the 338 Lapua. The magazine fed flawless, and I even got last round bolt lock back. Yeah. So, thank you guys very much for inviting me out here. I really appreciate it. It's been a ton of fun. So, I will definitely drop links below in the description where you can find all these products and check out this footage of us shooting one mile. Yeah, right. it's been fun.
Send that bolt home. Just over the top. Impact. There was your hit right there. But again, really recoil is not bad at all with this rifle. The gas system's running great. I haven't had a hiccup yet. And uh, how many companies do you know of that can make a 338 AR? I that's the first one I've heard of, so this is good fun. Ooh, that one skipped just above it. Oh, so close, just barely off left edge, right edge. That was the last round. Oh, just over the top, damn it. But this thing's holding together really good. I think the wind's messing with me a little bit. Ears aren't ringing or anything. Gun worked just fine. Last round hold open on the bolt. Drop that bad boy out. This is actually machined aluminum from these guys. Really crazy magazine. The follower fits that 338 Lapua perfectly. And the overall weight on this thing is not bad at all. With uh, my AR-10, I think fully loaded is like 12 pounds. And then this rifle, what was the weight on this thing? 12 without the scope and this is a much larger caliber lot bigger receiver setup that carbon barrel shaves some weight shaving weight with this uh, lightened handrail and whatnot i can't even feel any heat coming out of that proof barrel nice and cool this is a really sweet setup impact Here we go. Oh, gosh, that was freaking cool. <laughs> I told you man. that thing was going to ring. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Just high, right? Yep. Impact. Impact. All right guys, here we are back at the target and we've got multiple impacts on this target. I believe we've got six. You can see one right there. Man, those 300 grains absolutely hammered this plate. So if we get a closer look, we've got one down here, got one over here. I can also see some near the top up here, one here. Unfortunately, this target wasn't painted, but I know that we for sure got six six as well as uh, one with the six five Creedmoor in here. So the three, the 300 grain 338s are showing up, but the uh, 6.5 Creedmoor, not quite enough energy out here to uh, really leave a splat on this steel. <laughs>